We do begin tonight in East Lansing with that breaking news. Luana Simon out after an epic week on campus, and it came through a letter sent to students and the MSU community tonight. It read in part, I urge those who have supported my work to understand I can't make it about me. Now, therefore, I am tendering my resignation as president according to the terms of my employment agreement. Now, we have been covering this case from the very start, bringing you every new development, and we are continuing to do that tonight. 24 Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel is live now in East Lansing on campus with a reaction to President Simon's resignation tonight. Lindsay. Yeah, Brian and Marley, that's right. This news just coming down a few hours ago. We're on East Lansing, or the East Lansing campus. You can see behind me the rock here. It reads, Time's Up, Change Luana. And what students painted on this rock last week became a reality tonight. In a resignation letter sent out late Wednesday night, Luana Simon wrote, To the survivors, I can never say enough that I am so sorry that a trusted, renowned physician was really such an evil, evil person who inflicted such harm under the guise of medical treatment. It goes on to say, As tragedies are politicized, blame is inevitable. As president, it is only natural that I am the focus of this anger. I understand, and that is why I've limited my personal statements. I will continue to do whatever I can to help MSU prosper in the future as a Spartan in whatever role I may play. Students we spoke to are happy to see President Simon step down. I definitely think it's a good opportunity for the campus to get a clean state slate with everything. Um, whether she was as involved as some people think she was or not, it's overall just a lot of tension, and I think that her resignation will definitely help everyone on campus move on and get some closure here. The resignation comes just hours after U.S. Senators Debbie Stabenow and Gary Peters both called for Simon to resign. But perhaps one of the biggest influencers, the second longest serving MSU trustee, Diane Byram, saying, quote, it is clear that the public has lost confidence in the current administration of Michigan State University. Now I do want to point out the longest serving MSU trustee is Joel Ferguson. He was first elected back in 1986. Last night he released an apology through a spokesperson after going on a radio show earlier this week and saying that there's much more going on on the campus than this Nasser thing. Saying and clarifying in that apology that he meant to say Nasser tragedy. But he also went on to laugh at the question about if the NCAA would get involved with investigating the university and saying that Penn State was investigated by the NCAA because they were dealing with their football program. And in speaking with some of the survivors tonight about the resignation, they said they're thrilled that this is a step in the right direction, but now the focus must turn to other people who still hold elected positions here at Michigan State University who, as they put it, just don't get it. And we, of course, will continue to follow this every step of the way. Reporting live in East Lansing, Lindsay McComel, 24 Hour News 8. As for Nasser, it's essentially life in prison. The sentence handed down after an extraordinary and impactful week in court after six days of powerful victim impact statements. Ingham County Judge Rosemary Aquilina gave Nasser an earful that included his own words from a letter he wrote which stated that he was the victim in the case, that he never wanted to plead guilty because he felt he was a good doctor. The judge read part of the letter in court. They feel I broke their trust. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Oh. It is just a complete nightmare. The stories that are being fabricated to sensationalize this as much as it was my honor and privilege to hear the sister survivors, it is my honor and privilege to sentence you. Because, sir, you do not deserve to walk outside of a prison ever again. Nasser has one more case in Eaton County for CSC charges that he pleaded guilty to.